Hey there YouTube, this is Level 1 Online, and I wanted to go ahead and show how to install the Daphne emulator and get it to show up on your RetroPie screen properly. It's not as simple as going into the RetroPie setup and then installing it and then adding and dropping ROMs. There is a little bit more with my particular build. The reason being is because on my particular build I'm using a custom uh, ES underscore systems dot CFG and I'm gonna go ahead and explain that really quick I'm gonna go ahead you need to make sure you have win SCP installed and right here we're looking at our uh, at our retro pie uh, file system what we're going to do is from here we're going to go to etc emulation station and then here's the es underscore systems dot cfg okay let me go ahead and launch that and let me go ahead and give a brief explanation on how this file works okay um, I did take some basic HTML back in the day um, so if you've never taken HTML or if you're not a programmer I'm gonna try and explain this as simple as possible this right here these are uh, think of it as like entries for each system okay right here it says Amistrad PC right here there's an entry for arcade there's an entry for Atari 2600 Atari 7800 and so on okay and what it does there is a opening tag this is what starts its system and then it goes through this process right here for this particular system and then there's a closing tag right here and the way you can tell is by the uh, the slash symbol okay so it's system it gives all the information about that particular system and then it closes it out and that introduces the next system right here which is the arcade system and this is if you want to create your own custom system this is what I did to create uh, the CPS 1, CPS 2, and CPS 3 systems okay so right here for example it says system the name full name uh, these two to my knowledge they really don't uh, the wording right here this is when it how it's listed within the uh, the RetroPie menu um, what's really important is how you word this right here path okay this is your ROMs folder right here okay home slash pie RetroPie ROMs so if you want to create a Daphne uh, fo a ROMs folder it's gonna say ROM slash Daphne as your path the extension you need to make sure it has the correct file extensions and then the command you need to make sure you have it pointing towards the right particular emulator platform and then theme and we're also gonna have to create a theme for Daphne alright so the reason why I whenever you go into RetroPie settings and you add a system it will automatically go ahead and update this okay with the Daphne entry for you but what I notice is what's happening is when I would add a particular system it would reshuffle my order for example I have the uh, the SFC system I created and I remember what I did is I put that behind SNES and for some strange reason it moved it up here I put it I believe yeah I put it in alphabetical order right in front of the SG 1000 and it was doing that on its own it was reshuffling the order to put it in alphabetical order so to prevent that if uh, from that happening, you want it in your custom order you would need to create let's close this out you go within your file explorer you go here to RetroPie, you go here to configs, you go here to all, emulation station, 
and you create an ES underscore system CFG right here. Okay. So let's go down to my Super Nintendo entry. So right here, my system, SNES, and then right after that, I have SFC. And then after that, I have N64 and NDS. But this particular file will not automatically update on its own. You have to update that manually. So from the other essystems.cfg file, you're going to have to copy the system entry, copy and paste it into this file, and then save it. Okay. And the path on how to get to that one, if you're trying to get through it through uh, WinSCP, I'll go ahead and explain. It is root, opt, retropy, configs, all, emulation station. And that's right there. Another way to get to it, root, home. Hi, and there's a shortcut to it right here, emulation station. You might not have it, depending on how you have your WinHCP set up. It's kind of like a hidden folder or hidden shortcut, but there it'll take you right there. So those are the paths you need to know. To get to your themes, root, etc., emulation station, themes. Those are the two themes I have right there. I'm using the simple big art and I don't have an entry there for Daphne. So I tell you what, this is the easy part. Let's go ahead and create one really quick. I'm going to use the same background image as uh, my final burn alpha. We're going to go, we're going to right click. We're going to hit duplicate. I'm going to call that Daphne. Go ahead and hit OK. Hit OK. So now we got a Daphne theme created. What we're going to do, we're going to go right here to theme.xml. We're going to use the background arcade.png. The uh, on the menu, we need to change that. Okay, I'm going to call that Daphne.svg. This right here, the system name, call that Daphne. Change that from Final Burn Alpha. And then the other thing we need to adjust is right here. Daphne. Go ahead and hit save. And then in this folder, fba.svg, uh, we can go ahead and delete that. We need to go ahead and find a Daphne SVG file. And I'm going to borrow that from our carbon theme. Here it is right here, Daphne, art. This is it right here. This is the Daphne logo. We're going to hit duplicate or actually move to right here where it says carbon. I'm going to type in simple, big, art. Change the file name. To Daphne actually if that's a move to let's do a duplicate yeah because I think it's gonna cut it out of this folder let's just do a duplicate simple big art Daphne so we're going to change from carbon to simple big art, 
And then right here, the file name, we're going to change it to Daphne. We're going to go ahead and hit OK. We're going to go back a folder. We're going to go back to Simple Big Art. We're going to go back to Daphne. Yep, and there it is right there. Okay. So what we need to do now, let's go ahead and download the and install the um, the Daphne emulator. I'm going to go ahead and launch Putty. Login as Pi. Password Raspberry. <clears throat> Sudo space period slash RetroPi setup slash <clears throat> setup with the capital S slash RetroPi underscore setup dot SH. Go ahead and push enter. I'll put that command in the description if you guys need it. All right. First thing you want to do, update RetroPie setup script. What this is, think of it as updating the download locations of where to fetch uh, the Daphne. So in other words, you want to make sure you get the latest version of Daphne. So it'll update that shortcut. Go ahead and hit OK. All right, manage packages. I've never done this before. I'm assuming it is an optional packages. Let's see. Yep, there it is right there. Okay. Install from binary. Uh, the difference is binary, from what I understand, it's already compiled for you. Um, but for some particular... Uh, emulators they do like nightly builds and that's to get like the late if you really want the bleeding edge newest you hit install from source but your uh, Raspberry Pi is gonna have to do the compiling for you and it could take some time and it does take a lot of processing power I did notice uh, on my last uh, source update that I did for an emulator started to heat up and I actually had to quit out of uh, my emulation station just to get it to cool down a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and hit install from binary. Hit OK. Hopefully this shouldn't take too long. All right, so now it's updated. We're going to exit out of that, get out of that. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and check. I'm going to hit this. I'm going to go back to root, etc. emulation station. ES systems. This should now have an entry for Daphne. Let's see if it did it. Yep, here it is right here. So it's Daphne. The extension is dot Daphne dot so it looks like the file format that they use is a .daphne extension. Okay, we're going to go ahead and hit copy. We're going to go to our other essystems.cfg right here. And as you can see, it's not listed here. Um, I'm not too sure where I want to list it. Let me do it. Let me do it right after Cody. I'm going to put it at the very tail end. So when it loads up, it loads up at the first thing on the left. Okay. You got to be careful when you do stuff like this. If you, you know, that right there, you miss something like that, it's it's gonna jack up your entire, uh, your entire uh, ES systems, and and your your emulation station won't even boot. So you got to be careful not to jack that up. That you got that formatted correctly. Okay. Go ahead and hit save. 
we're gonna go right here to our network we're gonna go to ROMs we're gonna go ahead okay it looks like you created a folder for us already ROMs I don't have a Daphne ROM yet uh, for the sake of this video I do want it but it's nothing's gonna show up on your screen until you actually have something on there um, let me experiment let me just grab a let's grab this file paste since this ends in zip it's not gonna be read All right, I'm just going to rename this to test.daphne. Yes. All right. Pseudo reboot. Okay. So my system just loaded back up and now I have the Daphne entry and I do see the uh, the little test ROM that I put in there. It is reading it. Um, I don't have an actual Daphne emulator or I'm sorry, a Daphne ROM. Uh, that's going to be probably something else. I'm assuming this is under the assumption that you already have your own ROM and you're going to go ahead and drag and drop. Um, but yeah, it, it is showing up on my main screen now. And so that's it. I did confirm that that it is installed. It is showing up. That was the main issues how to get it as an entry how to get it to show up how to get the logo to show up. Hope you found this info informative if the, if you have any questions about getting the ROM started. Give me a few days to research that because I still don't have a ROM. Uh, I'm going to try and get the Dragon's Lair ROM. Uh, but from what I've been hearing it can be a little tricky to get these games started. Um, I know, for example, ETA Prime has a great video. Look him up and see if you can follow his guide to get going. Thanks again. This is Level 1 Online. Make sure you hit the uh, like, comment, and subscribe button. Take care. Bye-bye.